Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this G'day guys, welcome back to a new episode. I'm with Levi from Bush Rats today. Now, some of you guys may know, some of you may not. He's a very close friend of mine. He's been one of my best mates for about seven years now since we met. And today's quite significant because this episode is actually gonna be the last one that we're gonna be able to shoot together for probably quite a long time. Because as some of you may know, if you kept up to date with what's going on on my channel, I'm gonna be moving and that's happening next week. So as busy as my schedule is at the moment, I've made the effort to come down. We're down in Collie at the moment, camping down at a local lake here, down at the dam. And today's video, we're just gonna be shooting. Down here, we're just gonna be chasing some redfin. It's marin season at the moment, so we'll go for some marin. We're gonna get the cookups going. If you check out Bush Rats content, he does a little segment, Young Lee's Kitchen. He's a chef by trade, awesome cook. We've got some food here, so we're gonna see what we can get onto. And it's just really just gonna be like an all round good catch up, something to look back on one last time to hang out for quite some time before we move on and I take off and life gets a little bit busier. But before that all gets started, what we're actually doing today is I'm wearing my microphone, which I always wear and- I've got one too. Levi's got his on, but just to stitch you up, mate. Oh, true. <laughs> All right. Oh, little gifts. So you got to open it up on camera, then show the camera. But basically, oh, Levi geez, and man. I, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Levi and I both started our YouTube channels at the exact same time. And we've been growing together pretty consistently at about the same rate and then just recently I've gone and bought all new camera gear and I've basically broken my bank account doing all this but it's actually proven itself a um, really worthwhile investment so far and it's keeping me motivated yeah it's well. keeping Levi motivated so we got like a little bit of a healthy competition going and he's just gone out and bought himself a new camera the other day that he's got on the way as well to start ramping things up himself because he's saying it's been paying off for me so what's actually happened for me is I've ended up with a spare set of wireless microphones and rather than keep them myself, hand them over to him so that that way... Get some better audio. Yeah, he's got some better audio going in his videos and then pretty much whatever I've got going on, he's got going on too. So he's got that now. Yes. So Merry Christmas, mate. Oh, cheers, mate. Appreciate it. We're going to get stuck into it. I'm going to rig up. He's already rigged up. He it's did... a third Marin season in a row though, eh? Yeah, second yeah. or third now. Yep. Now that I've been in Perth. So back down the dam. We'll see if we're, we're probably going to go snaring tonight, aren't we? Yeah, yep. Get some chook pellets out on the edge. Yep. So we'll be snaring later in the night for the Marin. But right now we're going to go chase some redfin as well so i'm gonna get rigged up for that he did hook one just before he lost it um so there's so, some out there it's definitely yeah. something out there hopefully we can get onto a few and uh yeah let's rip into it let's rig up all right who do you guys think is gonna get the first fish me or lee so this is the lure i'm running to chase the redfin perch Okay guys, so we've been flicking in the water just behind us there for about half an hour now and we are having very little luck. We're probably just going to give it an hour for the sun to come down a bit further, get a few more shadows in the water, hopefully flare up the fish a little bit more and then we're going to get back into it. What have we got going on over here, Lee? Oh, it's a bit of a chair patch up, mate. It's had a bit of a blowout. Nothing but a duct tape can't fix. There's any, uh, if there's any sponsors out there that would like to sponsor Levi, a new chair at Bush Rats. Even a second hand one will do. Even a second hand one if anyone wants to take that one up. I think he's just about overdue. I reckon she'll still work, mate. Good as new. Not bad. Oh. 
Young Lee's Kitchen, Barista Kitchen, Cafe. Brewing up a couple uh, coffees, mate. Maybe a mocha. Two mockers, hot to go. Gonna drink these till the reddies come back on the bite. Yeah, so we decided we wanted to move out of the city. Used to be a tattoo artist down uh, in a little town called Bunbury there. A little bit faster pace, a bit slower than Perth, but yeah, just wanted to get somewhere one or less sets of traffic lights and a lot of bush around, a few dams, a few rivers, and just work on that self-sufficient lifestyle, you know? Yeah, a little greenhouse we made from um, recycled windows from roadside pickup. Just built a new little chook coop there and got a veggie patch underway. Got a little dam there that we're going to put some marin in um, and just, you know, anything that stops me having to keep working too hard, you know. So to grow it myself or build it myself, I will. Yeah, so we're going to be doing uh, a few episodes on the, the bush rats ranch, we call it. They're sort of showing what we're growing, harvesting and what we do around there as well as the fishing and camping side of things. So spend most of my time trying to work on my uh, self-sufficiency and the bush rat stuff. Also a bit of an artist by trade, but other than that, yeah, not working much these days. What's your long-term plan with bush rats? I think five years from now. Yes, yeah, ho hopefully it blows up a little bit there, you know, I'm try trying to keep up with you, mate. Um, but yeah, the odd sponsor here and there would be nice, just something that keeps us getting some more stuff to keep getting out. A bit more motivation as well to keep out there and try new things. Wouldn't mind getting a proper tinny one day, even hitting the salt water. Yeah. But yeah, just, just living the dream really, you know, as some would say. Just fishing, hunting, camping every day, every week. There's a cool little look into Levi's life and what he gets up to and things that I really admire about him. It's good to surround yourself with people that you look up to and aspire to be like and he's definitely one of those people for me. If you want to see some redfin getting caught, check out our other video. Every time we bring someone yeah. out, I just never catch nothing. Any video but the one that I'm in targeting fish is going to catch fish. Yeah. <laughs> but it is coming into the bite time now. We're just going to move over. I'm just filming this one right here while there's good lighting, but we're going to go move further into the shadows now and flick around and hopefully find some reddies. I'm sure we'll get one by the end of the day. We are going to show you, and then we're going to get a marin. We're definitely going to get a marin, hopefully, on the bank there. We've got our snares with us. We'll throw some pellets in. It is marin season. We're going to get something. Oh, get out of town. Oh, he's just gobbled that lure up, mate. Check that out. Look a bit silly with my GoPro on my head, but... First red fin of the day. Keep it there. Ew! How many shackers is that one? This is a single shack of that one. So that was on the first cast on the little walk here. Uh, got a few bites, I'm hoping there's a fair few more in there. Got the cowboy hat on, got the Akubra going. So we've just come over to this deeper bank right here and then literally first cast because we decided to move away from the bit where the sun was still hitting, which was where we were camped. We've come over to the shadows as soon as Lee's cast down here. First cast. He called it. He said he was going to be on. Yeah, 300th cast for the day, but yeah. first cast on this walk. We've been putting in the work, but we needed the content, and um, that's it. We got the one ready, so we can die happy now. We're actually going to. We'll get some more. Yeah, we'll keep moving along this bank now and see if we can get onto some more, definitely. All right, guys, so now that Levi's caught that one ready, I'm pretty satisfied. We've got proof that there's actually at least one fish out here. I've just actually come back over to camp. Levi's still fishing way back over there behind me right now, but we're about to lose light here. So what I'm gonna do quickly is send the drone up, get some shots to show you guys this place at sunset, and then we're gonna keep fishing for a little bit longer. Then we're gonna try to get stuck into the marin, cook ups, the whole lot. It's all gonna happen. I wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here right now Before we make this even worse It's gonna hurt We're gonna do a bit of the behind the scenes here. I'm just filming Levi putting him under the pump a little bit, but he's just gonna be announcing what we're about to be doing. So, what are we doing? Tell your people and show my people what's going on. <laughs> All right, so uh, dinner's done, dishes are finished. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dinner's finished, dishes are done, and it's time to go chuck out some pellets. We're gonna get the snares ready, burly up this whole side of the bank down here for we get a nice 100 meter run because there's no one else camping on this side. So we're gonna chuck them out now and see if we can get into some marin in the next half hour, 45, once that sun's gone. Let's get it underway. 
something like that. All right, so I've just fired up my Weber and something I've actually got to clear up with you guys right now, it's pretty, no, it's not super important, just to save any comments in future though. So in that recent video I did where I was camping up in the Pilbara and I had all the bugs flying around camp, smacking me in the face and everything, a lot of people left comments in the comments section telling me ways how to mitigate the bugs. And one of those comments that kept popping up was one where people were saying to get amber lights and I had to keep replying to each person individually saying, yep, I know, I know, I know. Now the reason I actually run the white lights, despite the bugs being around and everything, is because I don't actually want to kill the video footage by having amber lights. Because I have a feeling that if the whole camp was set up and shining on my face like this, it's going to change the entire look to the video. So that's the reasoning behind that one for you guys, just to clear that up. So in future, if I am running white lights and there's bugs flying around and smacking me and I am having a bit of a whinge about it and, and whatnot, there's a reason why I'm running a white light and not an orange one. All right guys, so we just got the food on the sizzle up right there, but, but just quickly, before I stutter all my words, so we've got this bucket of chook pellets right here. Most of you will probably know, but some of you may not, depending on where you're watching from. I don't really know, but Levi and I's relationship first started out, our friendship when we were younger and he started tattooing me. And what we're doing tonight is we're chasing marin. I keep saying marin. Marin are a shellfish, a crayfish in fresh water here in the southwest of Western Australia. And this is what they look like. So Levi actually did this on me. That's a pretty good size one too there, mate. Yeah, so if you caught that one, you'd be pretty happy. But for those of you who don't know, that's what we're actually on the hunt for. Now, the reason we actually tattooed this on my shin is because marin are endemic to the southwest of Western Australia. And so for that reason, it's kind of like a, I don't know, a way to pay homage to my homeland, which is this region here. And that's just a good way to represent it. If anybody from the southwest was anywhere in the world and they knew what a marin was and they saw that, they'd instantly assume that's where I'm from and that's why I got it. Let's get these chook pellets in the water, we'll get them on the bank, we'll chase some marin, we'll eat this food and we'll see what we get. Alright guys, this time I'm not going to drop my dinner, but just to give you a look right there. So we've done the chicken wings, honey glazed, I guess you could call them, Canadian maple they called it with mango chicken kebabs. We're gonna rip into this. Just a, uh, just a little side note as well. If your chicken wings don't look like that when you've cooked them on the barbie, then they're undercooked. These things are definitely best cooked, just absolutely crispy. That's how they are. Lee and I are gonna eat these now. He's already had dinner, but he's gonna eat these with me as well because there's no way I'm gonna finish these. Levi, show us what you're doing. Talk us through it, mate. All right, so what we're doing, chucking two cups worth of pellets out every 10, 15 steps. Um, I'm going to let them brew for about 15 minutes and then we're going to come back with the snares, check each spot, probably every 15, 20 minutes or so. Got me little water boots on. There's your pellets down there. You want about half your snare length just out, unless you're not too scared to get in the water. Just in the water there. Rightio, how long are we giving that? 15, 20, mate. There's already a few little ones kicking around out there as well. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there's one right there. Two of them. Oh, yep. This is Marin for you, it's right there, just as an example. Just a little one. We're gonna get the bigger ones of them. So they just come up on the bank, and then they'll hit the chook pellets, sit there eating them, and then we'll come along and snare them. There he goes, over to the pellets. All right, guys, we've just come back over to camp after throwing those pellets in along the bank there. So we've given them about 15, 20 minutes now. We've just got these snares, so some, I think it's 16 mil dow with some little yellow wire there. They say yellow wire is the best. Just slips through like that, so that's all we're gonna be aiming to do, wrap that around the tail of the marin as they're sitting on the bank, yank, and hopefully they come squirming out of the water and we'll get onto a few. Got the uh, marin gauge here, so we're gonna go for just the 80 mil, not trophy waters, trophy waters 90, and hopefully we can get some big boys tonight. All right, so we're gonna go walk back over into the dark, so we'll have the light set up on the camera and stuff, but we should get some nice, pretty clear footage in the in the darkness there and yeah we're pretty confident we're going to get onto a few so let's get over there and get stuck into it hello mr froggy where the marin at mate 
Oh. Ribbit. She's got the snare. Got one. There we go. Just out the front of camp too. We haven't even gone far. Sweet. Try getting onto a few more. We need like 15 more. All right, so there's another one for the bag on the bank. Another one for the basket. You reckon that one's size? Just under 75. Yeah. yeah, about four or five mil under. Someone's gonna go back. We'll get him next season. Back you go, buddy. So yeah. Just so this makes sense to you guys as well, is we actually just went back over to camp for a bit and let the Marin have another little run up here. So we chilled out for probably half an hour. We had another coffee. It's getting pretty late in the night now. Um, and then I've actually thrown on me waders too because it is, for my liking, a bit bloody cold for what I'm used to now after being you know, in the northern suburbs of Perth for the last couple of years and then just recently being up in Caratha in the middle of summer. I'm finding it pretty cold down here tonight. So I've got the waders back on. These things are awesome for obviously walking out in the water and also just keeping any moisture and stuff off you to stay warm and dry. But anyway, we've still got um, a few more spots to check back down this way. So we'll go do that now, see if we can get onto a few more. We'll show you guys that. And then, um, yep, see how we go. Jesus. Bro, Not bloody bad. Little spot just here. It's just been getting the most marin. We've, we've gone like about 50 meters that way, 100 meters that way, and right out the front, it's just absolutely killing it. I mean, we finished the run, man. If it keeps like this, we we'll get a couple more. Couple more. We're slowly dialing in this snare work. We've, we've had a few goes on the snare, missed a couple big ones, um, but we're getting there. The three in the bag. There we go. Yeah, that's just good fishing, mate. I don't know if it's as big as the one you just got, but... Right, let's have a look. Make sure this guy's up to the job. So we're just going to go from the tip there to the back of the carapace. He's in, he's about 90 mil. Nice. Maybe 95. Another nice little black marron there. Well and truly sized. Another one for the bag. What's that? Three, four. Fourth one now. Oh, we're well on the way. What time is it? About 11.30? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't checked the time in a long time, but we'll probably do one more run after this one, and I think we'll probably be pretty happy with whatever we get after the after the fact with that. But so far, so good. We're pretty happy just to get these ones. This is it for me for the season. This is all I've done. This is all I will do. Coming down south for the one trip. Hey, we've got another visitor. Oh, he's getting out of the bag. <laughs> Oh, there you go, thumbnail, mate. That's how we do it out here. Keep missing them. There we go. Right, there's one more. Another nice one. So, there you go. One last marin. I think we're probably, it's another male again, this one. It's getting pretty close to midnight now, so I'm pretty happy with what we got. I think for these, five or six? Yeah, five or six now. Just walk along the banks with this snare. It's done the job. These are pretty healthy marin along here. I'm sure this one's size, but we'll give it a check in a second. We'll get back over to camp. Just size. So he's just in. So we'll drop these out now and we'll actually have a suss at how many we've got. We'll show you guys our little haul here. Boom. Not bad. So it's that one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. Lee might hold up one or two, just to give you guys a bit of a look there. That's the marins, the black crabs. Oh, hopefully they don't nip me in a second. Anyway, so we got six, six nice size marin. So we can't really complain about that one. Yep, they'll make a good feed. We'll do a, check out my channel. I'm gonna do a catch and cook on them later on this week, I think. Yeah. Next week or two. So we're actually getting pretty close to midnight now. So, whoop, 
So as far as that's concerned, I think I'm going to wrap up my episode right here with this one because I don't like filming fresh in the mornings when I first wake up. So I'm going to close this one out, but um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Obviously, this is a collaboration with Levi. Not only is he a really good mate of mine, but he also does have his YouTube channel and we're sort of similar in uh, what we get up to and, and all that sort of thing, but we've got our own little twist on it and he's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Check it out, bush rats. Get over to his channel, subscribe, watch his content. Very good bloke, very good content. And um, yeah, I'm gonna miss him while I'm away, obviously. So this is our last little catch up until I take off for a while, but that's not forever. I've, I've moved away on him before a couple of times. He always comes back. But yeah, cheers for watching this one, guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Maybe it's something